Recognize that sound? It's the click clacking of typewriter keys, and it's been vanishing from Chicago and really everywhere for more than 20 years. But as Steve Sanders shows us right now, not everyone is willing to let typewriters go, huh, Steve? Yeah, that's right, Allison. You know, if you're lucky enough to live in Chicago, those machines we used for well over a century to document communications and ideas might be making a bit of a comeback. The smell of the ink, the type hitting the page, the clicking of return carriage, the bell, it is the way that information went from the human mind and the human heart onto paper. John Lapine is at home on Chicago's Printer's Row. He wraps himself in words, soft lighting and familiar sounds, sounds discovered on a chance drive along Montrose about a year ago. I walked in and I saw all of the beautiful machines that I had seen as a child. Lapine had stumbled upon what he calls typewriter heaven. Independence business machines, good afternoon. I saw a beautifully refurbished uh, royal typewriter. I said, I'll take that one. And Steve said that was a customer's. And he pulled out another one that looked like it had been left out in the rain for 35 years. And I wound up with this magnificently restored 1926 royal typewriter with the crystal windows. I even get hugs from, from people right here. They come in, they give me a hug that I'm still around. This is a fully functional typewriter. It hasn't been easy for this Polish immigrant. His parents came to Chicago in 1950 to escape the trauma of post-World War II Europe. There were no jobs. There wasn't any jobs. I start out for 85 cents an hour, and I was very happy to get a job. In the 50s, 60s, and 70s, business was booming because every office and most homes had typewriters. Then computers started catching on. Computers put us out of business. One by one, he saw fellow typewriter repairmen vanish from Chicago. I just never gave up. Yeah, put it on the floor. Yeah, put it on the floor. Yeah. I don't know anything else. I might as well stick around and thing I did. Oh, yeah, we can fix it. Sure. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Steve uses this to ensure that all of the keys work properly. Bookseller Lapine figures if typewritten notes were good enough for Carl Sandburg, Nelson Algren, and Winston Churchill, yours faithfully, Winston Churchill, then his customers deserve nothing less. For business purposes, I write a typewritten letter to a customer, put a stamp on the envelope and send it, I've got a customer for life. The computer age was supposed to make our lives much more efficient, and establish paperless offices. And I do see purists and aficionados using typewriters more and more. The element would touch the ink roller, then would hit the paper. So thanks to a Polish immigrant with Moxie, bookseller Lapine has rediscovered his love of typewriters. And thanks to customers like Lapine, you can find Steve Kazmierski six days a week plunking away at a passion he discovered on a day 50 years ago. I am master of, of typewriters. That, uh, that I can <laughs> That I am. It's love. It's art. And he is, a, he is a Chicago institution that we need to preserve, protect, love, and cherish. Well, it shouldn't surprise you to learn that Kuzmierski does not own a computer, but he does have a website. If you'd like to find uh, Independence Business Machines, go to our website, WGNTV.com.